Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Monday, October 21st. You'll be interested to know, 504 years ago, today in 1520, explorer Ferdinand Magellan with three Spanish ships entered the strait later named for him, navigating between the mainland tip of South America and the island of Tierra del Fuego toward the Pacific Ocean. This significant event marked the gateway to circumnavigating the globe, highlighting the era's spirit of exploration. So now you know. And now, it's time for the weather report. This morning it's sunny and feels like 53 degrees with nine mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 552 and it will rise again tomorrow at 705. It looks like we're in for a sunny day with temperatures reaching up to 78, accompanied by a light west wind. Tonight, expect clear skies with a low around 54 and light winds continuing. For all you beach runners out there, the first low tide Monday will be at 8.30 with a high tide at 2.45. The near shore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 60 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, expect sunny skies with highs around 71 degrees on Tuesday and 75 degrees on Wednesday. A slight chance of rain showers is possible on Thursday. Nights will be mostly clear with lows in the low 50s to upper 30s. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. In local news, the city of Boston is honoring Celtics legend Bill Russell by renaming a bridge that connects Charlestown with the West End and North End. The bridge will now be called the William Felton Bill Russell Bridge, recognizing his commitment to civil rights and the development of Boston's youth and athletes. Russell, who led the Celtics to 11 NBA championships during his 13-season career, passed away at 88 years old in 2022. A ceremony will take place today, featuring Russell's widow, Janine, along with the mayor and Celtics officials. The bridge is set to reopen in the spring. Now on to sports. On Saturday, we witnessed two great ranked matchups. The 11th ranked Tennessee Volunteers claimed a thrilling 24 to 17 victory over the 7th ranked Alabama Crimson Tide in Knoxville. Hill and Sampson dazzled with 139 yards rushing and two touchdowns, while Nico Lemaliva's fourth quarter touchdown pass sealed the win. Alabama's Jalen Milrow struggled with two interceptions. Tennessee overcame a halftime deficit keeping their college football playoff hopes alive. Meanwhile, the fifth-ranked Georgia Bulldogs stunned the top-ranked Texas Longhorns with a 30-15 victory in Austin. Trevor Edian led the charge with three touchdowns, capitalizing on Dalen Everett's crucial takeaways. Georgia's defense shown, delivering seven sacks and forcing four turnovers. Quarterback Carson Beck endured three interceptions, but maintained control. On Sunday night football, the Pittsburgh Steelers, now 5-2, triumphed over the New York Jets, who fell to 2-5 with a score of 37-15. Russell Wilson, in his Steelers debut, threw for 264 yards and two touchdowns. Beanie Bishop's two interceptions were pivotal, turning the tide against Aaron Rodgers. Despite a promising start, 
the Jets couldn't maintain their momentum, dropping their fourth straight game. Last night, the Los Angeles Dodgers secured a dominant 10-5 victory over the New York Mets at Dodger Stadium, clinching the National League Championship Series. Tommy Edman and Will Smith each launched homers, propelling the Dodgers into the World Series against the Yankees. Game one is on Friday. On Monday Night Football, we're getting a doubleheader. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 4-2 host the red-hot Baltimore Ravens, also at 4-2. Baker Mayfield's impressive 15 touchdowns face a formidable challenge against Lamar Jackson's dynamic Ravens, who lead the league in rushing. Expect a high-scoring showdown as Tampa averages nearly 30 points per game. Also tonight, the Arizona Cardinals, at 2-4, host the Los Angeles Chargers, boasting a 3-2 record. With Justin Herbert back in form, the Chargers' balanced offense faces a Cardinals defense, missing key players. Arizona's Kyler Murray, known for his dynamic scrambling, will be crucial against a stout Chargers defense. Expect James Conner to shine, aiming to extend his Monday night touchdown streak in local sports. Sunday morning, the Jacksonville Jaguars staged a comeback to beat the Patriots 32-16 at Wembley Stadium. Tank Figsby impressed with 118 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Rookie quarterback Drake May led a late scoring drive, but the Patriots fell to one in six. May was 26 for 37 with 276 passing yards and two touchdowns with no interceptions. Head coach Gerard Mayo called the Patriots soft. Yikes. Tomorrow night, the NBA season kicks off with the Celtics hosting the New York Knicks at TD Garden. The Celtics face some injury concerns with Chris Stapps pouring us out until December. The Knicks, also with a few players as game time decisions, look to capitalize on any weaknesses. Boston is favored by one and a half points. Last night, the Bruins were off. Tomorrow night, the Bees hit the road to face the Nashville Predators at Bridgestone Arena. The Bruins stand at three, two and one, while the Predators are still searching for their first win. Cole Cook leads the Bruins with six points, while Jeremy Swayman boasts a 2.25 goals against average. In top news, in recent years, the link between alcohol and health risks has become clearer. While the World Health Organization has warned that no amount of alcohol is safe, the alcohol market surged to $37 billion in 2023. Experts emphasize that alcohol is a known carcinogen, contributing to over 200 diseases, including heart disease and dementia. Despite long-held beliefs about potential health benefits, such as those associated with red wine, new research reveals that these claims often overlook important lifestyle factors. As public awareness grows, the challenge remains to change cultural perceptions and behaviors towards alcohol consumption. In business news, in the latest rankings from Bloomberg Businessweek, Stanford University retains its top position among United States business schools marking five consecutive years at the forefront. Carnegie Mellon University's Tepper School of Business surged to ninth place, while Northwestern University's Kellogg School of Management climbed to third. However, Columbia Business School dropped from fifth to 17th, primarily due to lower reported starting salaries. As business schools face high turnover among administrators, and adapt to the rising influence of artificial intelligence. Deans are focusing on innovative programs and real-world connections to meet evolving student needs and market demands. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just under $69,100. Ethereum is just over $2,700. And Solana is $169. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio 
to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk tech. In a lighthearted debate, a California couple, Vekas Chowdhury and Riti Sani, disagree on how polite one should be with ChatGPT. Chowdhury, a startup founder, expresses gratitude to the chatbot, calling it a rock star. In contrast, Sani views their interactions as purely transactional. As chatbots become more conversational, users face an ethical dilemma. A survey revealed that about 48% of Americans believe in being polite to artificial intelligence, while others argue it is inefficient. Research suggests that politeness can lead to better responses from AI, prompting conversations about etiquette in our digital interactions. And in entertainment news, Religious movies are making significant waves in Hollywood, attracting rich investors eager to put millions into faith-based projects. One such project, House of David, is set to premiere in early 2025, showcasing the tale of David vs. Goliath in a grand television spectacle. Christian filmmaker John Irwin leads this movement, aiming to create uplifting stories for families. With successes like The Chosen and Sound of Freedom, the industry is shifting, appealing to a broader audience. Investors are now backing studios like The Wonder Project, which aspires to produce high-quality, values-driven content for mainstream viewers. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the entrepreneur and businessman, Elon Musk. And he said, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.